So, strap your seatbelts in, get some popcorn, get some coffee. You've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail. I am not kidding. This is the ultimate build in Skull and Bones. This is so broken. It was given to me. So, obviously, you know who you are. You didn't want your name shouted out. Massive shout out to you. Um, yeah, guys, this build can basically destroy everyone endlessly and kill every single boss solo without any single flipping issues. So I think without further ado, I'm best off jumping into the build. But we're going to need to do a few things before we can do so. And I don't know if I've got the materials to do it. We're going to have to uh, go over here to the crafting bench. And we've got to make sure we've got all the materials to craft the weapons. Well, we can actually, we could go press start and we could go over to uh, the codex. And that way we can find out if we've got the materials. So we want to go down. We want to go right. So you're not going to believe this. But the Culliburn 5s are the strongest hitting cannons in this game. Now I've actually got enough to do everything. But you've got the Basilisk Freeze. Now, this is all tried and tested. We've got the Tearing Culliburn Freeze. But the Culliburn 5s are an absolute flipping joke. When we look at the damage here, this one does say it does 1,230. And this one says it does 1,125. But wait till you try it. So, make sure you've got some Culliburn 5s. Craft it or do what you've got to do to it. Right, once you have got your Colour Burn 5s, I'm about to craft some in a moment. I have got the materials for it. I'm going to go over to the Carpenter. And then I'm going to also... These, you want to get your furnitures. Right, so you're going to need offensive furniture. So you're going to have Colour Burn 5s all around your ship. Right, and, and there's a specific ship for this. One that you're not going to believe that is so broken. So we're going to get that ship in a moment. But the, the furniture that we're going to need... Let's go to the major furniture to start off with. So we need to go over. Let me just check. See what one it was. It was. Where are you? 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 This one. So we need the signal gong. Which I have got. We're going to need uh, for defensive. I know we don't, don't need a defensive. We need offensive. Because we're going to sink people like there is... No other. So we've seen what the, the gong does. The gong does uh, increase damage by 15% after a crew attack for 30 seconds. Then we want to go over to offensive. And in the offensive, you want to try and craft yourself. Where are you? Where are you? It is... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I've just got it. I'm just going to go to the ship. So if I quickly just back here and go to my ship. And then I can see what I'm missing. So let's change ship. And now the ship that we want... Get ready for this. Was which one? Which one was it? It was, it was this one, right? So it's the fire brand. Now the reason you want this, it is a small ship, but but obviously be warned because there's one specific talent on this ship that makes it insane. So obviously it's got the wildfire perk. So applying the blaze effect to a ship applies the same effect to all enemies in a radius of 125 meters. This next one is the reason it makes it so broken. Now, I told you the Color Burn 5s are extremely broken. It's because of this. Increases weapon damage by 20%. Burning damage is increased and in blaze charge speed by 150%. So we want to get the we want to get this on. Equip this ship, the firebrand. Then we want to go to manage ship. And then we want to go down to furniture. We want to put the main the, the, the main bit of furniture on. So we wanted the gong, the signal gong. Then we want to go down to furniture slot 2. And we want to uh, increase charge rate of a blaze effect on enemy ships by 10%. Um, and then the third one we are going to want. Where are you? We are going to want increased threat generation. Now... This is actually broken. So it, it doesn't do what it says. It does so much more than that. You want to... Then the armor you want to equip, you want to make sure you've got... Um, it's the Royal Custodian. And you're going to want to use the Healing Ones. And then the weapons, you want to go ahead and you want to put... 
Let's quickly get that off. Not that one. No, no, no. We want to look for our color burn fives here. You can see I've got my color burn fives. And you want to put them all the way around the ship. So I've got the color burn fives. I put them around. Now let's just quickly just look at these stats. It does say, for instance, this does more damage. And it's got the piercing and that. But it's completely incorrect. Because if you see here, damage per shot for the damage summary. Now we look at the damage summary here. Damage per shot is actually only 1,025. So these, in effect, do hit more damage. Even though this has got the piercing and the radar. These are the ones you want. Then you want to go ahead and you want to activate. You want to activate your PvP. Now, when you activate PvP, you're probably not going to see anyone in your server with it on. So once you've activated it, you want to quit the game. And then you want to re-log in just a moment. Because when you re-log in a moment, it will put you into a server with obviously loads of people in PvP. Now, remember, you're in a small ship. And uh, small ships can take... Or are very hard to hit in a, in a terms of a fight. So let's go back in, let's continue, let's load back in. And hopefully there's some people with PvP activated. And when there is, we are going to absolutely destroy everyone and i mean everyone so here we go it's loading back up it's probably going to take about five to ten seconds it's just trying to find a server with other people with pvp activated so let's quickly do it now you could obviously put on some zam zama freeze but the color burn fives are definitely better for this where is anyone is anyone in this world with pvp yes there is so over here we can see there's people with pvp activated we want to fast travel to here the lookout And now we're at the lookout. We want to make sure we got the food. So let's go to manage cargo. Um, we've got to make sure we got cannibals. That's all we need. And we need repair kit ones for the Royal Custodian Armor. Uh, and I'm going to use this so it reduces brace, trimming, everything like that. Um, you could use whatever one you want. I'm just going to use the satay. Otherwise, I would say use some ragu. Um, it's pretty good. Or you could use some uh, Nidizi, which I haven't got on me. So I'm going to use what I've got. I'm going to set sail. And watch how quick this destroys the enemies. So, we're going to put that food on right now. Here we go. Let's go to the cargo. We've got our food. We've got our other bits. Let's go over to the enemy. Oh, there's an enemy right there. So, let's just start pummeling away. Now that we've got that, we want to just pump one of them uh, kits. We want to just keep shooting it. Don't worry. It looks like he's doing a lot of damage. He's not. But I'm actually getting attacked by two people here. Oh. The build isn't working quite how it was meant to, how it was sent to me. Ah. Right. I get it. Happy April Fool's Day, mother truckers. <laughs> See you in the next video. Like, follow, comment, subscribe. Peace.